Hi there, I'm Mike. Welcome to my channel, and I have a BAM box. This is November's BAM box. I did not get October's, and I did get September's, and I recorded a video for it, but I never edited it. I might do that still at some point. It exists, and you might see it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to still do it. I just, I forgot to do it. Anyway, this, as you can see, is probably the thinnest subscription box I've ever received. It's crazy how thin this is. And I will also say that this, the quality of this will directly affect whether or not I get another one. If I don't like this, I am going to cancel my subscription. So let's find out what's in it. I opened it upside down, so let's just open it right side up. Paper. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I am not a huge fan of pins, but this is actually not bad. It's a Cartman pin, and I really like South Park, so that's cool. I like it. Awesome. Next, I'm just going through this as it's laid in here. I've got no idea what this is, but this, this is a Betty Boop comic from Dynamite Comics and it looks like it's autographed which is neat and it also has a certificate of authenticity and that's kind of neat I guess I don't care about the comic at all but the thing about Bambox is that it's supposed to have unique like autographed stuff or art prints it's not necessarily something you care about but it's cool collectible stuff which I actually kind of appreciate just that by itself if I like what's collectible about it it's like a cherry on top but I don't care about this comic it's cool that it's signed I don't know if that makes it worth anything but you know we'll find out who knows next this is like this is like metal this is full on metal it looks it looks like it's painted it's got a nice kind of finish to it but it says crazy people are more fun and it's a crazy drawing of Homer Simpson. This will hang up in a wall very nicely for somebody who likes The Simpsons. I don't know if this will hang up in this room or not. It's unique, I guess. That's kind of what I like about it. It's very unique. Oh, this is cool. This is an art print. It's actually numbered 443 out of 2000. It's basically, it's a, it's a Bob's Burger Burger with the characters like kind of jumbled together. Do you like this? I like it. It's gonna sit in the box because I don't really know what to do with it, but I like it and it's kind of neat. What's next? <clears throat> Lastly but not leastly, this is, I guess, an autographed cosplayer. I had to look this up. I had to look this up and in doing so, I sort of spoiled what the box was and I should have just looked at this first. I don't know why I didn't, but this is the adult cartoon box. This is the Bob Cronenberger sketch i like that i like it uh, cronenberger i get it like cronenberg i get it that's good anyway back to this <laughs> this is a, an, a, a signed it's a signed print of a cosplayer cosplaying jessica rabbit and actually that cosplayer's name i've got it right here i've got it right here it is Kristen Lene. I don't know who that is by sight. I am not a big, the only cosplayer I am familiar with is my friend Kiki, like actively familiar with, who I know is like popular as a cosplayer. But I'm sure she's great. Her print looks good. And just before you go, I do want to kind of point out the inside of the box here. I got a little master splinter in here and a magneto and a pizza, and a Ninja Turtle, and a Thor, and a Skeletor, I think. Some sort of Pegasus, and a Hulk, and a Spider-Man, and a Green Goblin, and a Joker, and a Technodrome. This inside here is rad. Do more stuff like this. I wish this stuff had been more stuff in the box because this whole area right here is something that I dig very much. So that's it for November's BAM box. What did you think? I thought that it was unique. I like the theme, adult cartoons. Again, BAM box is a tricky one because it's got stuff that is very obviously collectible. Like this is stuff you would see hanging in a comic shop, 
which is cool, but it's not necessarily stuff that I would actually buy from that comic shop. It's stuff that would be like, hey, that's cool. Like stuff you'd see in a museum. So maybe I'll give this or sell this on I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this stuff. I have no idea. But I have them, and you might or might not, because if you got this box, you probably do. It's not like it was super exclusive. You just buy the box and you get it. I'll give this box... It's hard to give it a high score because I don't really actively love everything in the box, but it's hard to give it a bad score because I see the value in the things that I got. I feel like it's easy to play it safe and say 7 out of 10 because that's like good enough to be okay and not bad enough to be bad, but not great. But I'm just going to do that, 7 out of 10, because that feels right. That's really all I got for here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Go ahead and give that a like or a dislike if you want to do one of those for the video. Bye. No, I told you not to talk to me when I'm doing videos. I'll get to you later, okay?